So thank you so much. And let's start with right away the first piece about public sphere because it's all about public sphere. And I thank also all the people I forgot to thank so far. <laughs> Mark Sphere. Mark Sphere. Disappear. I'm next here. Them. 
to take you out of the clothes. If anything is certain, yeah. Karl Marx said, So, the logic in the back is the logic from the two party part. Marx said, so, uh, uh, I made a lot of uh, uh, necklaces, and, uh, but I mean, they're porcelain, you can see them at the, at the uh, Fashion Space Gallery, Oxford Circus. And here is one I made, like they are not breakable, so we got them out, so they're pure to question. And this says, like, sell a man a fish he eats for a day, teach a man how to fish, you ruin a wonderful business opportunity. <laughs> and then another one, uh, here, we do it just like, until it stops up there, so we have a kind of dialogue. In bourgeois society, capitalist independent has individuality, while the living person is dependent and has no individuality. Marx. These are one Marx quote. Take him from one for me. Uh, if anything is certain, it is that I myself am not a Marxist. Me too, I am not a Marxist. You know, that Marx said. So, a kind of quote him here. Ooh, sorry. This is here, uh, the last capitalist we hang shall be the one who sold us the rope. And then this one. Yeah, yeah, we still have it going, so it's fine. We're not too stressed. Religion is the opium of the hipsters. <laughs> <laughs> or is it the other way around? Opium is the religion of the hipsters. So, of the art world at least. So, uh, opium is, yeah. The first requ requisite for the happiness of the people is the abolition of hipster to religion. Okay, the next one. Thank you so much. Karl Marx speaks Chinese. Chinese. We don't have these dresses, but I have an article. These were dresses, you know, that reflect the kind of China-made bags, which in every country are called foreign bags, by the way, not only Chinese bags. And uh, it represents, this is 10 years ago, uh, a cheap China, but actually China is very, very, very strong and is fantastic. I want to be Chinese.com, computers. And China has the lead, the New York Times, two weeks ago. San Francisco, the world's leading technology companies from Google to Alibaba in China are racing to build the first quantum computer, a machine that would be far more powerful than today's computers. This device could break the encryption that protects digital information, putting at risk everything from the billions of dollars spent on e-commerce. You let me know, you indicate me when this section is over. Uh, on commerce to national secrets stored in government databases. An answer, encryption that relies on the same concept from the world of physics. Just as some scientists are working on quantum computers, others are working on quantum security techniques. Please teach me Chinese here, Jakar. Uh, that could thwart the code, close. that could thwart the code even here, that could, sorry, that, you know, it's kind of, you know, what it is. It's <laughs> breaking abilities of these machines of the future. It is a race with national security implications by building quantum computers, computers still annoying. Okay, China has a clear lead in quantum encryption. Also, all the rare earths, called rare earths, 99% of rare Oh, okay, we have an exception. Okay, Karl Marx. China, yes. Karl Marx. Uh, there's only one cow. That's the section. There's only one cow. Now, if we would have lights that could turn, we would go to the Joseph boys, which is actually hanging here and there and at the tape, and which is actually uh, an edition by Joseph boys of uh, Seventy Two by Rene Block. And the, my, my edition is called Fell Belongs to Everybody. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I won't even say go for it. 
the life of them. This is Laura B. This is Karl Hobbes B. Greening's
clothing of the working people, in the majority of cases, is in a very bad condition. The material used for it is not of the best adapted. Wool and linen have almost vanished from the wardrobe of both sexes, and cotton has taken their place. Shirts are made of bleached or coloured cotton goods. The dresses of the women are chiefly of cotton print goods, and woollen petticoats are rarely to be seen on the wash line. The men wear chiefly trousers of fusion and other heavy cotton goods, and jackets or coats of the sea. Fusion has become the proverbial costume of the working men who are called fusion jackets. The whole clothing of the working class, even assuming it to be in good condition, is little adapted to the climate. If a working man once buys himself a woolen coat for Sunday, he must get it from one of the cheap shops where he finds bad so-called devil's dust cloth manufactured for sale and not for use and liable to tear and grow fair bare in the fortnight. Or he must buy of an old clothes dealer a half-worn coat which has seen its best days and lasts but a few weeks. That's it? Okay. So we proceed. Uh, middle class squeeze. We don't have the clothes, but we have the singers. Uh, the video can proceed and you stop it, can't pay for, you stop it when the, the section stops. <laughs> now, real class please, thank you for the singer, stand up, thank you. Blockchain dummy, middle class squeeze. Blockchain dummy, middle class squeeze. Network dummy, work and sleep. Network dummy, climbing and freeze. <coughs> middle class. Dummy. A chilly breeze. Students in debt. Students in doubt. Students stressed, stressed out. out. Parents are not. There is no reward. Parents without regard. Temp work dummy. Middle class squeeze. Blockchain dummy. Working in sleep. Network dummy. Fucking in cheese. Middle class dummy. I am and leaves. Kids and guns. Teachers, please run. Parents and guns. Racism and nuns. Network dummy. Middle class squeeze. Tank work dummy. Working class and sleep. Blockchain dummy. Class dummy. Homeless and please. Names and drawing. Parental control. Harassing and scamming. Out on parole. Watching dummy. Middle class queen. Tem chain dummy. Working as lead. Network dummy. Hiring and freeze. Middle class dummy. Blind dummy, middle class squeeze, platform dummy, never on freeze, silicon dummy, start up and weed, middle class dummy, chilly out and bleed, salary freeze, drugs and sneeze, jobless temping, second handing, middle class squeeze, temp work dummy, never freeze. Don't be a dummy. Crypto money. Money class squeeze. Suicide and drugs. Spoons and nice mugs. Emergency release. Go home and sleep. Please. Release. Hands up. And Hands freeze. Okay, I just found my website in <laughs> back. So you see a bit more, but uh, it's loading slowly here. And uh, okay, so company was cool. And uh, okay, so we continue with the video. <laughs>
What's the next one? Oh, there's Carl again. Okay, so once there's again our Carl. I read you the letter he sent me, and we go on the next Carl section. Yes. So, Carl, I wanted to have him here, and he wrote me a very nice letter. And the letter says, Hi, Reiner. Thank you. We did fine at Spike. Thank you for inviting me. Don't make travel arrangements for long until quite sure it's not going to be happening this time. I kind of felt maybe it was a bit of last opportunity if we talk closing the sign in Marxism, not to talk about consumerism and spend shops, how inexpensive clothes are still bought by the tons by young people, including including young people, including uh, art students, I would assume made under a appalling conditions nation shops to fly around the world for no particular reason. The whole Naomi Klein thing still very much going on. Uh, please bring it up if you get the opportunity. Very much enjoy the book, have fun. There are lots of love, Carl books, Chris. Okay, so uh, we're gonna put him back. We're gonna put him back to make it boys. Again. And uh, Okay, to the next section. Okay, the next section is NSA. NSA. Okay. NSA is a double section with uh, singing and and distress. I made distress. Uh, like I was thinking of early forms of diplomacy when you have letters and exchanges and notes and depeches which you could put in the dress. And so here, you always have to sing down here. And that was just around the time with Snowden, who still is in Russia. And uh, so, so here you kind of, Snowden marks is the section called uh, Prisons. It's called Prisons. Yeah, it's fantastic naming. Snowden marks, scarf. And then here, you can already then prepare for, I mean, make sure that the video is off when it stops. And here it's kind of, what is it? It says here on this, G, uh, that was a big one, now nobody knows anymore what it is. GCHQ. <laughs> that was, uh, does anybody remember what it stands for? Yep. So tell us. Uh, General Communication Headquarters? Yes, correct. Okay, and now we're singing. Thank you so much. Marks data analytic. Big data. No nope, data. Analyze. Stolen data. Insane data. Rationalize. People's data. Private data. Compromise. Public data. Retrieve data. Maximize. Data up. Data fuel. Destabilize. Data theft. Data computing. Data recovery. Glamorize. Data sex. Agonize. Data comprehension. Data manipulation. Erotize. Make data. Suck data. Revolutionize. Steal data. Broker data. Socialize. And sickle. Data capitalism. Data competition. Subsidize. Data life. Data threat. Realize. Data dirt. Data law. Missionize. Data collapse. Data destruction. Symbolize. Acquire data. Hire data. Synthesize. Waste data. Release data. Scandal. Service data, rape data, accessorize, fracture data, target data, scrutinize, data distortion, data.
data. Fuck. Bastardize. Data need. Data date. Bestialize. Data focus. Data spam. Colonize. Data marks. Data history. Okay, sex work, but we have no sex work, we have seen instead. Okay, sound, thank you. Marx sex in German, not yet German. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sex no text. Yeah, 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 yeah. Text no sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Licks no fix. Yeah, 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 yeah. Licks no fix. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me too. Me too. Me too. No text, no text. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me too. Me too. Turn on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn on. Turn on. No text, no fix. Turn on. Turn on. No, 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 no. Turn on. Turn on. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Wank and sex. Net and sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sex, no sex. Net, no net. Wank. No wank. Vix. No vix. Netflix. Sex and tex. Yeah, yeah. Tex and sex. Yeah, 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 yeah. Flicks and fits. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wicks and fits. No, no, no. Good night, darling. is lottery economics. We also don't have. Uh, but what's, what's lottery economics? Yeah. Lottery economics is uh, just recycling all the stuff I had lying in the studio. And uh, so I call lottery... Okay, if you have little kids, there are very good schools, public schools, but there's not enough space. So what the city does, they make a lottery. They make a, a lottery. And, and everything is a lottery. Just like the poor people love lottery, because that might change their faith. And we know what you get. And uh, so this kind of lottery economics is really very uh, particular uh, for our age. And I, as I said, you know, as a young parent in New York with two kids, it was really, uh, it's brutal. And, uh, and you have to win the lottery. But then the lottery is in itself skewed because if you have a pre-K, the lottery is nicer to you. And if you have friends who are in the school, the lottery is even more nicer to you. And uh, so it works with the lottery. Uh, yes, and uh, I thought also lottery economics, I have it with the school, I have it with this section to recycle the rest. And lottery economics is also uh, 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 an Instagram thing I have uh, with a certain kind of uh, sustainability because this sustainability institute also helped us to finance the show. So I made a particular thing, but that's another section. And the next section is going to be this one here. So that's so much it. And now the next section, the video and the sound again. Thank you. <laughs> Those jackets. Hammer and sickle. You can sing it, yeah. It's wrong. Profit!
Karl Marx, Hammer and Sickle, Lassen, Kampf. Fashion equals sweatshops. Mayor Knight. Marx works for 26 cents an hour in Vietnam. Karl Marx works for 26 cents per hour in Vietnam. How much does he work for in, in England? What's the minimum wage? Eight hundred sixty. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, maybe all turn, and then maybe. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> and next one is opium. Okay, thank you. The opium section. Needless to say, the opium section. We also we don't have the opium section. Uh, okay, so we just need to do it. You can join in the, the people's fight. It's called the people's fight. Opium. Therefore, I wanted to show her one more time. <laughs> 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 to be 
they each cut out four millimeter felt, German felt, and they're marked in the house, so I'm already freaked out uh, in the text. Now, okay, that's it. Thank you so much. What's the next one? Okay, so the next one, I can't read this. What's the box? Ah, Mark said Zwirner. Okay, good. So now we have the Mark said David Zwirner. Okay, our, our, our best guy. Zwirner, Gogosian, Fine Art, what we do, etc. And uh, uh, it's just all pornography. And uh, let's continue. This is Super super Max. No, this is not Super Max. This is Super Structure. Just a basic uh, reminder. Uh, Marx base, people work, and then people are basically the superstructure. People are above uh, thinking, you know, the, the university, uh, the law, uh, and all that stuff, it's called superstructure. And, uh, and for this we have suprematism. He's a guy who started painting peasants, and then he did, uh, maybe we can put the sound up, and then he went into peasants. suprematism. Peasants. Peasants. Malevich likes peasants. I love your tattoos, I have to just say. Uh, 
just delirious. Thank you. Palermo, the same thing. So I went to uh, I went to Karl Marx, I went to David Zwirner, and even more of that. I went to David Zwirner and I had two shows. One was Late Works by Blinky Palermo, a German artist who died in his like twenties or so. They make him like a holy saint of abstract art. And uh, and early works of Richard Sarah, which is actually interesting because at that time he was already still this very old still so. And, uh, and I, I saw two works, which I then used. Actually, I can show you these works here on the computer. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But maybe not here. Is she on already? Yeah, we are kind of uh, not completely synchronized, but it's OK. Just, 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 just. Perfect, thank you. So I can show it here. Can you turn around? So here with the camera, you see, that's the title of the work. So, So it has the title. Let me see what it says. Let me take off my glasses. Uh, it says untitled. Uh, for yeah, the, 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 the original says actually Blinky Palermo untitled for somebody, uh, which I can now read here. And then I make it for for uh, Philip Engels and his wife Burns. And there are about five or six dresses. Yeah, that that carp is actually after. Actually, this is from a painting, and this is also from a drawing. Painting. In New York, there were all these like art people. So I had this was like a one of time uh, Beach Kruger, a uh, creator for the Venice Biennial. And he's an art to come. It's slowly, very slowly here. So, she's an artist and an art dealer. Right? Okay. Yeah. So here, this is like how I did it. So I took the from the website. It says like, uh, who knows the beginning and who knows the end. And so I just added of the revolution. But you know, now we have Paris, the best, and who knows what that, that's going to bring me you know. <coughs> I think it's enough. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I right, just have to uh, uh, this, yeah. So now, but it continues. Now we, we move uh, off the internet there, we can kind of stop it. So now we have another one, which is called the Rana Plaza. Rana Plaza, please. And uh, the Rana Plaza is this disaster in Bangladesh, it's a thousand and uh, I think three, 1300 or 1130 or, or 1300, like over a thousand people died in a, in, in one of those fires, and they produced for Benetton, and they produced for, for Joe, Fred, Joe Fresh, it's an American company, Canadian company, and they, you can also turn, 
And uh, <coughs> so I basically have all the stuff, the price, what it costs, $29 on the right. Unless I print it on top of it, and including uh, a section from the New York Times. So if you stay here, like let's see here, Bangladesh, may I do this? So maybe can this Bangladesh once uh, poor and irrelevant, the global economy is now an export powerhouse, second only to China in global apparel export. This is a long time ago. As factories churn out clothes for brands like Tommy Hilfiger, Gap, Calvin Klein, H&M. Global retailers like Target and Walmart now operate outsourcing uh, offices in Dhaka, the capital. Garments are critical to Bangladesh's economy, accounting for 80% of manufacturing and exports and more. So here there's more made in Bangladesh, what it all costs and so And so I was basically buying the clothes where they were produced there. And you see the low prices. And uh, basically, uh, that's what it is. Thank you so much. Next section. Uh, the next section is actually sustainability. Uh